Now, a focal point is a very important aspect when it comes to interior design. And in this video today, I'm going to be sharing with you the top six ideas on how to create the most stunning focal point in your spaces. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Fazati Ali and I'm an interior designer who's always giving the best tips on how to make your space look stunning. I also do DIYs and give you guys affordable ideas on how to make your own home deco pieces. I also paint, so do feel free to hit the subscribe button below and join the family. I upload videos every other week. Anyway guys, let's dive straight into today's video where we'll be talking about a focal point. Now a focal point is one of the most fundamental elements when it comes to interior design. This is the first place our eyes are drawn to immediately walk into our space. I would say it is very, very essential to create a focal point in every single space in your interiors. This will ensure the space looks very appealing and quite aesthetic. So you might be wondering, what exactly should I use to create a focal point in my space? Well, let's find out. Now, one of the most simple ways of creating a focal point is actually using something as simple as paint. Now, paint is one of the most easy ways of creating a focal point in any space. Go for that one bright color or that unique color or your favorite color. Put it on one of your walls. If you're trying to create a focal point, go for that color, but choose it on just one of the walls. This will actually look really great and really aesthetic. And I can assure you, it is a place that your eyes would easily get drawn to every time you walk into that space. For me personally, I'll go for a color like black because it just really stands out to me. It's a very classic color, it's gorgeous. And also, it's a color that immediately walk into your space, you'll definitely notice it. Let's say, for example, in the living room, you can have it on your TV wall to create a focal point because already the TV is a focal point on its own. This will look really, really great. You can also draw shapes with paint on your walls. It will create a lot of interest. It will be different, it will be unique, and it will definitely work as a great focal point. So using paint to create a focal point is one of the most easy ways of creating interest in a space. And not only on walls, you can use paint on doors and so on. Now my most favorite way of creating a focal point is going for art pieces or frames. Now simply go for a large piece of artwork. I'm saying large because honestly, no one is gonna miss a large piece of artwork. Anybody who walks into a space, that is the first thing their eyes are going to be fixated on and it's going to make the space look extremely aesthetic. So go for a large piece of artwork. I already told you guys I paint, so if you need help, I'm right here. Large pieces of artwork do so much for any space. This is something you definitely want to look into. If you're looking to create a focal point without you know, overdoing it or doing too much, an artwork would be the best choice. If you're not going for an art piece, go for frames. Arrange a number of them in a nice, aesthetic way and this will create a beautiful focal point and not only does it grab your attention and create a statement but it also looks very appealing now another really great idea on how to create a beautiful focal point is to hang a mirror or mirrors now go ahead and hang a mirror in your corridors on top of your console tables and in any other space that you'd like this is a simple way of creating a beautiful focal point in your space go for unique shapes go for you know nice frames go for a number of them or a single one either of this will look really great Another thing to consider is the fact that mirrors not only create beautiful focal points but also make your space look larger. So if you have a small space, it's kind of a win-win situation. Maybe mirrors are your best way of creating a focal point, so definitely consider that. Now giving your walls an upgrade either using moldings or wallpaper will definitely create a stunning focal point in your space. Now in this day and age, we have quite a variety of wallpapers in the market and you'll definitely find something that works for you no matter what style you like, what color you want, 
what textures you want, you definitely find something that will stand out to you. So all the buzz definitely, definitely come in handy. And these days we have, you know, even the waterproof wallpapers that you can use in your bathroom, your toilet, and so on. With wallpapers, you can either have them on all your walls, all four walls in a room, or you just have it on one wall. I still recommend probably just going for one wall because unless it doesn't have too many patterns, it may be a little bit overbearing. This is a simple and easy way to draw your eyes towards the wall immediately walk into the room. Apart from wallpaper, you can always go for wall moldings and these ones are just stunning. They immediately upgrade any wall to, from looking simple to something very very beautiful and high class. So if you want something that creates more statement, go for wall moldings. Now for all my biophilia and greenery lovers, another great way of creating a focal point in your home is simply using plants and flowers. Now grab a huge fun plant and have it at the corner of your room. You can even have one in the corridor or in the hallway or just in front of your door. This will create a beautiful aesthetic and apart from that, plants do help in keeping the air fresh. So these are not only good for aesthetics but also for our well-being. Now create a natural vibe by not only having the potted plants on your floors and your tables but you can also create a whole wall that can be adorned with plants. Now this will definitely stand out, look super amazing and will definitely not fail in creating a stunning focal point in your space. One of the plants that is really trending that has also got me really interested is the pompous grass and I think it looks really amazing. So this is also one plant that you definitely want to add into your collection. Now a great idea of creating a focal point in your space is to go for unique furniture pieces, sculptures, antique pieces and so on. Now this will not only easily draw someone's eyes, but they will give your space a sense of history that will definitely stand out. So pass by those secondhand shops, get yourself an antique furniture piece and at a very affordable price, you'll be able to create a stunning aesthetic in your space. Now for unique furniture pieces, you can go for carved pieces, unique materials such as glass and metal instead of wood sometimes. Of course, another thing to consider are sculptures and this will definitely stand out. This will create a simple and unique focal point. Now the last idea I'll be sharing with you on how to create a beautiful focal point in your space is to simply go for a light fixture. Now lighting is very important. Forget about the simple way we used to light up our spaces with bulbs. Go ahead and create a lot of interest in a space by having a beautiful pendant, a chandelier, wall sconces, and so on. This will definitely stand out and no room is an exception. Have them in your living room, have them in your hallway, have them in your bedroom, have them in your bathroom. In your bathroom you can even hang a pendant right above your bathtub and this will create a beautiful aesthetic. Go for a stunning light fixture, go for something that glimmers, some beautiful metal, something that's unique. Now this is a simple and easy way of adding a focal point in your space so this is definitely one that you have to consider. A simple tip is to make sure you think about the style of your space before picking a light fixture. So those are just but a few ideas on how to create stunning focal points in your spaces. There's so many other ways to do this. If you know any other ideas, do let me know in the comment section below. I would also love to learn from you. Anyway guys, I hope you got to learn something and please make sure you create a focal point in your interiors. Anyway, thank you so so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe and share. I'll be truly truly grateful. Anyway, see you guys next week inshallah with another video. Love you guys so much. Bye bye.